Garrett, welcome to the Digital Scene Show here at the AC Awards. Thank you. You just won the Heritage Award? I guess, yeah. Thank for you. the undergraduate? The undergrad, yes. Undergrad. Tell us a little bit about your film. Uh, so it's a story about a young man who befriends an elderly Polish expatriate and her, her last dying wish is that he make amends with her family and so through the journey he takes, um, you know, trying to reconcile the problems with her family, he finds um, you know problems that he's having with his own family, and discovers how he can resolve those problems. And what did you shoot that with? Uh, we shot on Super 16 on Super an 16. Area SR2. I see. What school did you go to? Loyola Marymount University. Loyola. Okay. Yeah. And that was by choice, film versus digital. Absolutely by choice. Yeah. Is that your preference? Um, it is. I mean, I think you know I, I work a lot with with digital as well. Uh, I think you really have to take into consideration you know what it is you're shooting, what the story is about, and what's appropriate for the story. Uh, but for this particular story, film was absolutely the right choice because it gave uh, it added some value to the story. Itself. Exactly. Yeah. I see. Okay. And um, what's your take on uh, 3D and what's going on with uh, with Hollywood right now, where everything has to be 3D? I mean, yeah. No, it's it's exciting. Kind of by your and, smile. Yeah. After I kind of get the idea <laughs> yeah. what you think, but I'll let you express it. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's it's interesting to see it sort of you know start to make this transition between uh, you know purely entertainment value to yeah. you know having a place in theatrical distribution. Um, I've gotten the chance to work with uh, 3D with you know some of the, the higher end 3D rigs like the Pace rig. Um, and I mean, no question, it's it's an interesting you know format. It's exciting to work with, but you know, again, as the choice with you know film or digital, I think you really have to look to the script and you know what's happening with the story and, and determine sure. if it's appropriate. Do you feel that 3D is being used more as a gimmick right now versus added value? I think it's it's starting to get out of the gimmicky, uh, part. The gimmicky part, but it's still got a little ways to go. I think. Right. It's interesting, and I know you've got to go pretty quickly, but I just wanted to get your thought on this as a uh -huh. student as an upcoming yeah. is that um, you know everybody's concentrating on the creation of 3D mm -hmm. but I don't know how many people are really look into how many people really want to watch 3D right you know yeah um, with glasses yeah <laughs> 3D in the format that it is today exactly personally I find it very intrusive to mm -hmm. have the glasses in front of my face no ex I mean exactly I, I find it hard to believe right? that you know for you know home distribution especially people are gonna want to you know, put on glasses before they sit in front of the TV. Yeah, and, and imagine having 20 people want to watch it. So you <laughs> yeah, gotta exactly. buy like, oh, I don't have enough glasses for everyone And to they're watch. 200 Sorry, bucks guys. to get yeah. the real good glasses, and not yeah. the, the ones you get, you know, at McDonald's. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. All right, well, congratulations, and uh, good luck in your career. Thank you so much.